it's the meal I look forward to the most, it's the meal I always enjoy the most, and also the meal I'm always the most hungry for. In case it wasn't clear already by almost every other video on the channel, I love breakfast. <laughs> To me, it ranks so highly above every other meal in terms of importance and joy that I love sharing it with you guys and with whoever else is with me. Because you guys have enjoyed these videos in the past, I thought I would share another week of what I eat for breakfast. Some things a little bit indulgent, some a bit more balanced, some just a bit weird, some to use up leftovers, some just because it's what I felt like at the time, some on my days off, some for my working days. Here are seven days of breakfasts in my house. Enjoy. We started the week off on a relatively nutritious note, if I do say so myself. It was a beautiful start to the week in terms of the weather, I must say, very unjanuary like which kind of makes me in the mood to eat fresh fruit and cereal and, you know, things that are low effort, but still good for us. I had this lovely vanilla coffee that we got when we were in Perugia from one of the Bialetti stores that you find all over Italy and must say much tastier than expected. They also have like a caramel and a hazelnut one which I haven't tried yet but coffee is good all the time, vanilla coffee especially good. So we were trying out this chocolate cereal that we had in the flat and I must say it was about every bit as flavorful as um freshly made cardboard. However, <laughs> nice and crunchy we had it with some whole milk I had it with my coffee a few slices of banana in there to add just any semblance of flavor but you know it was fine if anything isn't a success it's a lesson and this cereal was a lesson on the second day i reverted back to my natural ways um by fairly tearing apart after being served coffee in bed which i must say would recommend i just instead dragged myself to the kitchen and began tearing apart the almost stale remains of this panettone. I don't think I've ever felt more kind of January in Italy than than this moment, this morning right here. Day three, we were somewhat between being lazy and putting in the effort and clearly, as you can see from my hair, it was feeling somewhat the same way. It's giving late 70s but not being happy about it. We started off with some yogurt, just some kind of classic plain natural yogurt and some of this admittedly looking back in hindsight suspiciously colored jar of homemade um cedro syrup. I don't know what it's actually I think it would be cedar fruit in English but I've literally never seen it being referred to in English ever ever because they grow mostly here in the Mediterranean but I made some syrup with a leftover skin of these uh, cedro a few days ago. Made a nice kind of bittersweet topping for this yogurt, which I threw on some actually tasty cereal for a change, this lovely crunchy fruity granola. So this was a lovely mix of like sweet, sour, creamy, bitter, crunchy, all very good, with some more vanilla coffee and a tiny splash of milk because I felt like it on this day. Day four, I had an early start at work, so I headed to one of my favourite pasticceria in Venice. Again, a very enviable blue sky in the morning, which was lovely to see. I opted for my usual favourite from this place, which is a croissant filled with a lovely pistachio cream and a tiny little cafe macchiato. And it was absolutely perfect. There is nothing that could have made me happier. Day five, a little bit of a rerun of days one and three. I woke up feeling completely uninterested in being awake and uh, Teto was also feeling the vibe at the same time. Went back to finish off this um, carton of yogurt and also our suspicious looking syrup. Had a few spoonfuls of that drizzled over the syrup instead of trying to look aesthetic with the teaspoon because who has the time, used the kind of rest of the cardboardy cereal and also the actual nice granola with the fruit to A, not have waste, but B, actually enjoy not having the waste. And in this lovely yellow espresso cup and this slightly busted old mocha, which we do now have a lovely yellow replacement for, <laughs> I had some regular coffee in my cup this day and it was very good, very strong, but very good. As we hurtled towards the end of the week, I felt like it was an appropriate point for a pastry again because I had an early shift at work. Venice was looking stunning in the morning as I got off of the tram. I was not. However, we are working with it. The hair clearly needs to be washed, but these pastries were keeping me perked up anyway. Instead of my usual pistachio choice, I instead went for this like multi-grain CD croissant that had this like blueberry jam in the middle. It was really, really good with a cappuccino and gave me just the right amount of joy and energy required. Speaking of joy and energy, possibly too much of both, on day seven, I began with a banana 
banana because I was feeling hungry. My hair, again, just <laughs> truly out of hand. Um, some yogurt had been repurchased and was being eaten because I'm just, I'm really in the mood for it just now. You know, it's not kind of at the point where it's too hot to enjoy it. Um, but also the sun is out, so why not? And I had it with a few scoops of, um, this apricot jam that I had left over from a sacre tart that I made as a birthday cake. And I just swirled it through like a homemade Muller corner, if you will, or just something slightly more exciting than plain yogurt. My, uh, favorite little yogurt thief was sat at the table with me, though he didn't manage to get himself even a gram haha and afterwards I wasn't feeling totally satisfied so I snacked on one of these tahine brownies that I made um basically my classic brownie recipe but with a uh, one metric uh fuck ton of um chili in there along with lime lemon and salt and they're absolutely delicious and I was very happy to have these as breakfast dessert Hopefully that brought you guys either a little bit of hunger, maybe some ideas of what to have for breakfast over the next couple of days, or it was just a nice way to pass five to 10 minutes of your life. For whichever reason, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much as always for watching and I will see you for the next one.